Northumbrian Waters tour of the reservoir has been happening here at Derwent Reservoir for many, many years. And this year, as well as the men's race, we also have, for the first time, a women's competition. It's all part of British Cycling's Elite Road Race series, and this is the first fixture of the calendar. There's a lot more emphasis on women's sport in the UK at the minute and it's a fantastic opportunity for us and we don't get very many courses which are as tough as this so it's you know it's going to be really good and, and I can't wait to race because I love hills so <laughs> it, it should make for some really exciting racing. I think it's really good for the sport that the organisers have put on a women's race. It's expanding the sport and giving us more opportunities to show how well we can race so that's really good. Starting at Blanchland Village on Saturday the 12th of April, the Alexandra Women's Tour of the Reservoir consisted of 54 miles and was won by Nicola Juniper from Brentwood in Essex and riding for the Pearl Azume Sports Tours team with a time of 2 hours, 32 minutes and 44 seconds. Followed closely by Alexi Shaw two seconds later and Molly Weaver in third, both riding for the Epic Cycles team. Molly Weaver! You know, everyone says that Essex flat, and it is flat compared to here, but, um, you know, I was at the Flanders Sport Teeth on Saturday, so I had a good ride there, so um, I was pre prepared well for it. So, no, it's tough challenging, but, you know, it's what women's cycling need, so, so it's good. Stage one on Saturday the 12th of April was a 75-mile circuit taking in Blanchland Village and Edmund Byers. The five laps of the race course finished up at Northumbrian Waters Dam at Derwent Reservoir. Alex Peters of Madison Genesis beat his teammate Pete Hawkins with a time of 2 hours 53 minutes and 21 seconds. And Team Rally's Yanto Barker was in third. Well, your winner today from Madison Genesis is Alex Peters! Those are your top three at the end of stage one. It was really tough. Uh, it's, it's just grippy. Everyone uses that word. Uh, windy, uh, quite cold. Talk to any of the cyclists taking part in Northumbrian Waters tour of the reservoir and you'll soon get to know that the wind's a problem and also the hills are a big challenge. That's why they like taking part in this competition. In his first two-day Northumbrian Water Tour of the Reservoir event, Olympic gold medal winner Ed Clancy was riding for Team Rafa Condor. I am, yet yeah, first time I've done it in its new uh, two-day format. Tough roads, uh, it's quite windy at the moment, it's exposed uh, on the moors and the hills, so it'll be uh, a real tough race, but an interesting one, and uh, I think teamwork will be quite important around here, so... Uh, We'll see how it goes. I'm looking forward to it, yeah. I've done this race before a couple of times in its old format. And, yeah, I do like this place, yeah. People are friendly up north and, uh, now nah, it's a good laugh. Um, it's a good race. It's well marshaled, well policed and, um, yeah, nice, safe race for us. Stage two on Sunday the 13th of April was eight laps of Derwent Reservoir, equaling 104 miles. Scottish rider Evan Oilifant repeated his success of the previous year to become the second stage winner, with a time of 4 hours, 53 minutes, 10 seconds for Team Rally. Jonathan Mould took second place for NFTO Pro Cycling, and Ian Wilkinson was in third for Team Rally. Yesterday was a really hard day for everyone. I was only in the second group on the road, so I lost a fair bit of time, and then today... Because of the wind, it was just a gradual wearing down process. And that last year, it was the same. There was a small group at the end, and I attacked virtually almost exactly the same place. I went a little bit earlier this time. Last year, I was on my own this, and I had one other guy with me. And it always makes it easier with one or two. And then at the end, I had to go because the bunch were coming. I went really early, but I managed to hold them off. It was a case of just as you are for Stage 1's winners in the overall standings of the Northumbrian Water Tour of the Reservoir. Alex Peters from Hackney, riding for Madison Genesis, took home the British Cycling Elite Road Race Series leader's jersey. It's what we can do to pay back to the community, so we provide access uh, for uh, the reservoir that you see around you, and the guys to come and, and set up and make the event really safe for everyone that comes along to watch it. Uh, we also really help with the, the promotion of the event, so producing the leaflets and uh, providing marketing support to make the event, to give the event this sort of professional feel that you, that you see today. Opened in 1967 by Princess Alexandra, Derwent Reservoir has showcased the northeast region and once again proved it's a great place to stage a cycling road race.